All right. Welcome to TJ Gossman Soapbox. Hey, TJ. Hey, Jen. Happy 2022. We made it. Yeah, baby. So you are going to give us the secret sauce to work-life balance. So simple. <laughs> what is it? Do we need a drum roll? Well, yeah, we need a drum roll because everybody, like we talk to a lot of new agents, right, Jen? And we talk to a lot of seasoned agents. And when we ask, like, what is the biggest finish line? It's always balance. I want balance. Right. And here's the answer. You ready? Ready. Balance doesn't exist. <laughs> it's an illusion. Damn it's an illusion. it. There is no balance. It will never feel right. The scales will never be balanced. And we just have to get okay with being not okay. I'm curious. I 100% agree with you. I am curious at where this like illusion started. And I know, I mean, we don't know that, right? But it is an illusion. Why? How did you discover it was an illusion? So, well, that uh, here's here's the thing. So for me, like the perfect example is as like a family person, right? Who's a husband, a father, and uh, a, a manager, whatever you want to call this, a business owner. Um, you can't be perfect at everything. Right. It's, it's impossible. So what I find is balance is really the closest thing that we get to it. A semblance of balance is a series of sacrifices across the board. Okay. You slowly have to drop one to pick up the other. Like it's so not sexy, but that's what it is. So like, I, I was don't know. Thinking like, I agree that there are sacrifices that have to be make, make, but I also think it's about being present when you are serving in the role that you're in, right? So if you can on purpose decide with, and I think this should be decided with your family first, like on purpose, what are the days that we are going to take vacation first? Okay. Then yeah. on purpose, when is my, when are going to be my normal days off? Because nobody should be working. There's like also this illusion of 24 seven that real estate works, which yeah. that's a, very tall soapbox for me. So I'll get off of that, but yeah. like start there. And then what you're left with is the days that you are going to be working. And then you have to say, okay, what are my work hours? So then if you decide that with your family up front or your significant other or whatever it is, or, or yourself or whatever, right. you say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Then every, like during that time that you're to work, you are focused and present. And then when you're off, like you're off, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm glad that you pointed out, like there's this like, there's a guy named Gary V, right? A big yeah. influencer and it's sleep when I'm dead, hustle, hustle, hustle. It's not real. Like that's not real. Like he's selling us something. He's selling us this energy of, you know, like 110% all the time. And like, unfortunately, burnout is real burnout's so real because you can go pretty hard for pretty long but yeah. to your point what's the consequence and I can tell you from personal experience the consequence is the relationships with the people that you love yeah like, yeah wake up one day and you're like oh shit like yeah I re reached like my financial goals and I reached my business goals but there's nobody to share it with like I'm alone now it's trash. Yeah, I, yeah, and I think some version of that is is so true. And like the last, I think the last couple months um, with my business coach has not been talking about business, right? It's about like I want to be a better husband. I want to be because like you, yeah, you hit those goals. Me the other day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you hit those goals that like you never thought you'd hit, right? Those incredible income, whatever your thing is, like you hit those and guess what? You're still not fulfilled. Right. It's not enough. Yeah. And like, that's where that stuff that matters, which is relationships, it's everything. Right. It's everything in business and outside, in my opinion. Yeah. But like, that's what keeps you going. Yeah. And it, it's, it's so interesting how this business more than any other, and I've done different sales jobs, like, mm -hmm this business can really play tricks on your mind and make you think that there's a way to like bliss through business. And, and, and it's not the solution. Right. It's just I think it also, I think there's a, 
we also use a lot of language about look what I did, look at everything I can do, look how great I am. There's a lot of language in our business around that. And so that makes you feel like you have to do everything. And that is a mistake because if you have to do everything, then you will never be able to be off. You'll never, there's this in their side, sort of a sense of pride about, Hey, I was, um, you know, I was in surgery and I was still writing a contract. I was on vacation and I, you know, did all this stuff. And it's like, yeah, but I mean, first of all, you're probably sedated and you should not have been writing contracts while you were like, hi. Right. Yeah. And yeah. like, you paid all this money to go on vacation with your family and then they didn't even know you were there. It's bullshit. Yeah. That's not, that, that's not fair. I, I used to do that and I don't anymore. But you know, I'm also, I build a business where I don't have to do that, where I've got people that I trust around me. Um, if you don't want to have a team, TJ, like having a team. Okay, great. Right. But like, yeah. what if you, what if you don't want that? Well, like I think about it like this. Let's say that I was independent today. No, no assistant, no transaction. I would make a deal with you. And I would say, when you're gone, I got you. When you're gone, you yep. know what, same thing. Yep. And like this, We don't have to overthink this. And right. if you feel like a lone wolf, that's your choice. Problem, right. And it is your problem. And it's going to weigh you down. And, you know, we talk about, we see all this on social media about volume and uh, another big piece of this puzzle is one of my favorite quotes, which is comparison is the thief of joy. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, you're never going to be as good as everybody else. There's you're always somebody be, better. There's always somebody better. And it's not healthy to sit there and like base your accomplishments against somebody else's because we don't know what their business looks like. Right. Right. We don't, we don't know what they spend. Ten thousand dollars a month in Zillow leads, and right. they're only selling one house a month. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, and and like profitability is what matters, and it's actually really personal. Um, and frankly, I don't know that we're doing ourselves favors by putting that stuff out to the public anyway. I, right. I don't. I don't think it's taken how it's um, put out. It's like oftentimes. received how it's. Yeah. Well, I think yeah, I don't feel like our learning. It's more about the story, right? about in making the client the hero of that story rather than like, look what I can do, look at me, look what I did. But I agree. Yes. So I think it, one of the things that I've learned the hard way, <laughs> we all learn everything the hard way, don't we? We yeah. don't listen. Yeah. Is that you had mentioned like partnering with another agent, right? But it's like, as the other agent partner, communication is critical. So if I'm partnering with you, I have to know that you're high anxiety, not you, like, but in general, like you're this other partner's high anxiety. How would they reply to their clients? How fast are they to reply to their clients? And then you have to take on some of those characteristics and also communicate with that agent to be like, Hey, this is what happened. This is what I did. So then they can enjoy their vacation and they can relax and they know that you've got it because you've told them. And it's just like a, a listing. If you don't tell the seller what you're doing, they think you're doing nothing. It's the same with the partner agent. Even though you know that we that I'm not doing nothing, if I don't tell you, you have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the other thing, like same with listings, have a set time where you're gonna check in. You know, I think that's so important. I, I really think that's a big separator between the winners on the listing side and the not winners mm-hmm. is, is a set time weekly check-in. You talk to them, yeah, if you have nothing to report, you report nothing, but you better report it to them. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the minimum. We don't, um, we don't wait for communication because most of, I have noticed that most sellers not all of them, but a lot of them are anxious. And so they, for them, like a week is too long, but like at a minimum, they know that this is the day and time we're going to talk for sure. But then in between time, it's like, Hey, this is, you know, as you know, we have a showing, I spoke with the agent, this is what they said, or I called the agent. They didn't, because it's when you're communicating with them like that, it's like, you get a lot, you don't get pushback if you have to do a price correction, you know, or anything like that. But let's back to um, this illusion. So I think it's a matter of priorities, right? Like work and life are not the same priority level. So why would you balance them? It makes no logical sense. Which one is more of a priority to you and where you spend your time dictates that. So stop pretending that the other one is the same. It's not. 
Yeah, you're so right. And, you know, it's also funny, like we do a lot of like business planning in January, right? We talk yeah. about our, our business goals, but how many of us are sitting down and making family goals and personal goals and relationship goals. And if we treat business like it's more important than than what really is important, yeah. people feel that and it's not great. No, right. You right. Know? They know that they're second. Yes. You know, like yeah. I've, I mean, I've dated guys that I'm like, I am so far down on this list of priorities. Like this is never going to work. Yeah. Because yeah. I will tell a client, I'm sorry, I can't meet you on such and such a day. I can meet you on these other days if we had plans, you know what I mean? But like, if you wouldn't do the same for me, then that's not going to work. But yeah, Yeah. I like that. So what are, what are truly, it's really about being honest with yourself. Like what's really more important? I mean, you are like for you, for most agents, they're family people, right? Is your family truly important? And you know what? Look, if it's not no judgment, just get it over with. You know what I mean? Like, yeah stop living in this crazy lie that you think nobody knows. Yeah. And, you know, don't budget at work and not budget at home. Don't goal set at work. And anything you're willing to do for work at a minimum, you have to be willing to do that for home. Yeah. Um, And like, to me, not only has that helped business because it puts everything in perspective, it helps home big time. Yeah. Because like, I don't have to debate like anything I would do for a client I'll do for my wife. And that's, <laughs> I know that, no, but think about that, right? Because like, I'll get up early. I'll go to bed late. I'll yeah. take a call late. Uh, right. like, oh, I was great. doing a lot more for my clients than I was for my wife in the first two years in business. That's a right. fact. Right. So it's a process. And like, whatever I have now, it's definitely not balanced, but it's manageable. Yeah. And as long as it's manageable, I'm cool. I think as long as you have an agreement that everybody agrees to, everybody important agrees to it, right? And it it's what it's in line with what you're you as a person, like why do you work? What is the purpose of the work, right? And so like as long as everything's in alignment, I think you're good to go. Right. Yeah, I agree. And and once you get into alignment, it'll be very easy to see what to say no to. So like for us, even though we've never really been heavy buyer agents, like the last couple of years, we've taken on more buyers than we are comfortable with. So like, you know, a couple, no, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> yeah. we're like, Sorry. okay, on purpose, we were like, this is so out of alignment and it makes us feel, well, we get angry. So I'm like this, I, I don't want to be angry. Right. And so like, we just need to stop doing that. And I think there's a confidence with that too. So as a newer agent or a, a less confident agent, you feel like you have to say yes to everybody, but they can call us and we can help them like really hone in on what is the purpose of working. And then anything that doesn't walk in that line, it's out. That's it. Yeah. You're either going to do it your first six months or you're going to do it three years from now talking about how I should have done it before. Hello. Great. Hello. <laughs> if people want to get a hold of you, they want to talk about like your journey. Maybe they want some help with, with their journey. Um, what is the best way to get a hold of you? Yeah, you can call or text me at 513-379-2000. And um, yeah, we're actually kind of doing a business planning module right now. So if anybody's just kind of not sure what they want their business to look like, I'll be glad to sit down, and spend 30 minutes with you and see if we can help. Great. Perfect. All right. Thanks, CJ. Thanks, Jen. See ya. Bye.